Welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors. As you can see, Crab Island's right behind me, and I'm on a boat, and I'm heading out to do a little scuba diving. When I come back in, I'll show you what Crab Island looks like in the afternoon, in the, uh, I don't know, first part of June. It's gonna be great, so stick around. We're gonna be under the water here pretty quick. We're gonna go see some wine fish. All right. Well, welcome back to Below the Surface. We're on the Hopper Barge today. And I'm looking for lionfish. We had a couple other divers that came in from uh, some other state. They're doing some spearfishing too. As you can see, one of the kids is bringing me up a lionfish right now. He didn't have a zookeeper, so he's going to use mine. But he did score the first lionfish of the day. Now you guys have seen some of my videos before. I've been on this barge once, uh, probably in my last scuba diving video. It holds a lot of lionfish, especially down in like these little cracks and crevices, but we did just have the Emerald Coast open, so I didn't expect to find a lot, but here's one just kind of hanging out in the open. Let's see if I got any better at stabbing these guys. Yep, I did. Mm hmm. Let's see if I can keep that up for the rest of the day. He's just a little guy. But you know where he's going. He's going to my zookeeper. Alright, let's swim around a little bit. So this bar just kind of tore up. It's uh, flattened out quite a bit. But there are, like I said, a bunch of nooks and crannies. You see here's another little lionfish. Dang, I spoke too soon. I sucked at that one. Sucked at that one, too. Watch this little guy, though. He gives me a little chase. They say those little guys aren't fast, but if you try to stab them three or four times... Look, I don't know where he went. He went up here, and now I'm like, where the hell did he go? Because there ain't nowhere else he could have went, but he ain't here. That's right, I'll go find another one. This little section of the barge is pretty cool. It's like a little A-frame. It's where all the fish hide out. And then right over here on the side, another line fish. But there's a red snapper right my way, and he won't move. As you see the red snapper down under the surface, they don't look red. They're more of a silvery color. But I got that one. I'm just swimming around. There's a whole bunch of Amber Jacks and Amoco Jacks. A ton of them down here. Look at those little Amocos. Alright, here we are. There's another one that was stuck inside this A-frame. Got him. Now in state waters, as long as the fish is in season, you can spear it if it's a uh, spearable fish. However, I don't know all my fish species yet, so I don't really like risking it trying to spear a fish and not know what it is. But if I do know what it is, like a trigger fish, I'm going to get it. There's another one. That guy was hiding up under that little crack. I'm trying to get up under these little crevices with my light to see if I can find any more lionfish. But that was the last one on this trip. So on to dive number two. Now we're back on the Phoenix Barge. Again, this wreck has a whole bunch of AJs, Amicos, and Amberjacks. Jacks. 
And then a whole ton of glass minnows. Look at all these glass minnows swimming around. This wreck's pretty cool too. There's a whole bunch of little cutouts. You can't really swim through it too much, but it does provide a, a lot of holes and a lot of light to kind of look in there. And there is a big Goliath grouper that hangs out on this wreck. You'll see him here in a second. If you look over on the right of my screen right now, you can kind of see him back there. But I'll swim around so you can get a better view of him. He's pretty cool. If he gets close enough to you, you can actually hear him barking. There he is, right there at the center of the screen, just hanging out. Local resident. A lot of the lionfish that I find on this wreck are probably the ones that I missed last time, so I let them go just to get a little bit bigger, just so I can come back today and spear them. Turn this little corner. Look at this big guy. Yep. That'll do. These wrecks do get fished pretty hard, so you can see a little bit of fishing land right there. That's one of the reasons why we don't like to penetrate on these wrecks because it's very easy to get tangled up. And I'll show you what I mean here in a couple minutes when we get closer. I just noticed something in the sand. Look at that big old mantis shrimp. Sucker's ginormous. Alright, so back here on this part of the ship, you can kind of see, uh, I guess, more of the length down. If you look up, you'll usually find lionfish that are hanging out on the top of it. And there's a couple right up in there that I can't get to from here. You see him right up there by that pipe. But he's just out of reach. So I found a little hole up top and I'm trying my hardest to really stretch down in there with my spear. But it's just not long enough. I'm gonna give it a couple good and valiant efforts, but it's just not gonna work out for me. It's a dangerous sport too. Look at all these sea urchins and stuff that I'm around. I'm lucky I didn't get poked. Right now I'm uh, a little defeated. So I'm gonna swim around, see if I can find any more holes to try to sneak down into. And if you look over here on the left, right, look at that fishing hook, fishing line. So I'm kind of just judging this area right now. But without that line, I'm like, no, nope, not gonna do it. Don't wanna feel like getting tangled up in that crap. However, this spot right here, this looks promising. I left my zookeeper up there on the top. It's, it's a little tight down here. There's my fish sitting right there, right in front of my face. So I get him. And then he wiggles himself off. 
And it's kind of a good thing he did, because he just led me to where all of his little buddies are at. Now it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I think there's like four or five of them in this little pipe. He's coming home. It's kind of difficult in here. I'm trying to stay off the sand so I don't stir everything up. But I also have all these entanglements around me. So I'm trying to push my way back. Get him back up into the zookeeper. And then go back down for more. So on this uh, scuba diving trip, I am out with Shark Quest Dive Charters, of course, the one and only. If you guys are down here in the area, look them up. They're over in Gulf Breeze, just right across the street from the uh, Gulf Breeze Zoo. So if this is your first time watching any of my uh, lionfish spearing videos, these lionfish are invasive. They're not supposed to be here. So there is no limit. There is no requirements to harvest them. We're trying to get rid of them as the best we can, get as many off the reefs as we can. Because they don't have any natural predators. They have 18 venomous spines, 13 up on their dorsal, one on each side of their pec fins and then three down on their anal fin. And uh, they're very sharp, so nothing really likes to eat them or mess with them. So they'll eat everything on the reefs. All the little cleaner species, all the baby fish, your baby snappers, your baby groupers. And until they get a natural predator, we're just trying to control them. There ain't no way we're gonna get rid of them all, but if we keep the numbers down, that's the goal. Oh, then here's a little treat. Look at that. A little slipper lobster. Those guys are in season. So he's going to go home with me too. That's the first lobster that I've found since we've been diving down here in Destiny, which is kind of cool. That's the first for me. Put them right here in my zookeeper with all the little buddies. And that was it, so I'm going up. I'll see you guys up top. All 
right guys, we're done. Just got done diving, two dives. And check out this cooler. Oh. Yeah, boy. Got him. All right guys, what a difference a couple hours makes. We're at Crab Island now. Quite a bit more traffic out there. Just crowded with people. And more people even going out. And that's gonna do it, guys. So uh, that's a pretty good couple dives. I don't need to leave the good coordinates for these ones because we've already been on them before. But they actually held some uh, a decent amount of lionfish again. And a whole lot of Amoco jacks and amber jacks, a bunch of red snapper, all kinds of fish down there. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna get off here. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.